Hi everybody, this is Igor from the AngularJS team and I would like to show you our CI or Continuous Integration Server which we use to be very productive when building AngularJS. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework and as such must be tested in multiple browsers across multiple operating systems which is quite a tricky and laborious task and it only makes sense to automate it as much as possible. So for this reason we set up a CI server which um, runs Jenkins on a remote um, Mac server somewhere in the data center and uh, it watches uh, GitHub repositories and whenever there are changes pushed to these repositories it uh, runs all the tests and builds Angular. So I'm gonna kick off one of the jobs manually since I have nothing to commit right now and what I'm looking at right now is a VNC session to the remote server and I see all these browsers starting and going away and you can observe that we have local browsers as well as uh, browsers in virtual machines so like this one in uh, Windows XP virtual machine uh, running IE8 and we also have IE9 and Windows 7 virtual machine uh, and all of these browsers are running unit tests as well as end-to-end -end tests. The way this works is we utilize a JS test driver. JS test driver is a remote JavaScript console. Uh, it's a small Java server that can start browsers, capture them, dispatch a unit test to be executed in all of these browsers, and then collects all the results. Um, we set up Jenkins to to run just this driver and we can check out what that looks like. So this is the output, the console output and this is output from the just this driver. So each of these dots is a single passing test. So every time a test goes green all the dot is printed here and then at the end we have a collection of uh, a sum summary of uh, all the results so we can see how long it took uh, to run tests on each of the browsers and how many tests passed or failed in this case all the tests are passing so we have a we have a suite of about uh, 1000 unit tests and since angular can work in two modes so, uh, with jquery and without jquery we we run the tests, uh, both unit tests and end-to-end -end tests, so with and without jQuery. So in addition to unit tests, we also have end-to-end um, -end tests, and end-to-end -end tests. Um, we have a local node server which uh, starts up our documentation application, and uh, the end-to-end -end tests navigate to individual pages of of uh, this. Uh, documentation application and look for these uh, live examples uh, and interact with them. So in case of this currency filter the test just comes here and types some kind of some number uh, in the input field and then asserts that the output was formatted according to the rules set out in, in the test. Uh, and this happens for all of the pages. Um, so a JS test driver exports then all the test results in the JUnit uh, format and then we have a JUnit plugin for, for Jenkins which can graph on the test result trends as well as uh, in case of uh, some failing builds it can tell us uh, which, which builds are failing. Okay, so we have three uh, i7 tests failing here. So we can see here that we have multiple jobs set up. Uh, we have uh, one job that monitors the main master branch um, and uh, makes sure that it's always green. Then we also run the same tests on i7. We kind of singled it out because it's kind of tricky to keep i7 happy and the the green the t and the build is not um, green all the time there so it's it's separated from everything else then we have a job here for the last stable branch um, which we keep green at all times and 
and then we have a bunch of developer specific jobs uh, and these jobs monitor the entire repository of a given developer and whenever a developer pushes a new new branch or commits to an existing branch Jenkins will notice that and will create a build and run all tests and this is super useful when when we do pull requests and, and start re reviewing code that is about to be merged to the master branch because by the time we get to uh, do the review we already have the results uh, from from Jenkins and, and we can tell if um, the, the changes that are about to be merged uh, are passing all tests and that really speeds up the, the development and also keeps the, all the developers honest about um, their code um, another nice thing here is that for each of the successful builds we publish build artifacts and what I can do is I can just copy a link and if, uh, if a bug was reported uh, um, for example through JS Fiddle I can just go and update the example with the latest build, rerun it, and then I can show hey, the latest build is passing this test, so we fixed the bug. That's really cool. Okay, my build just finished running, and what I can see here is that it succeeded. Uh, it's this, the build is green and I can also quickly check and I see that we just finished running about 14,000 tests so that's uh, all the unit tests running on each of the seven browsers with jQuery, without jQuery and in addition to that all end-to-end -end tests running on all the browsers with and without jQuery so that's quite a lot of stuff that happened in the last um, five or six minutes. I hope you really like this because uh, it's, it's very helpful for us and I hope it's going to inspire you to set up something similar for your project. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.